Mabuhay and hello from the Philippines. Okay, so my last video I was at the New Smoky Mountain and I was hanging out with the kids there and it's been a couple days so I just want to give you guys an update of what's been going on. Uh, that day we had a few hundred kids come hang out, hear the gospel message and some dramas. Um, a lot of them got saved, a bunch of them got healed. Uh, I know one person one kid had like white stuff in their eye um, that was affecting their vision and as they prayed like the white things went away and then we made like 300 balloons in the hot sun and it was glorious. I love the new Smoky Mountain. Bless you. After that we went to a crusade. Uh, we were doing a healing and prayer crusade so we went to different neighborhoods and invited people to come and just prayed with people on the way and just on the way we saw a lady who had some kind of cataracts in her eyes and that just opened up her blurry vision just became more and more clear and she came to the meeting that night and just got to pray for a number of different people our team split up into like five groups went all throughout this little town brought folks back and a really nice person at the church made a special bungus milk fish for our whole team for dinner just because i had mentioned to the congregation when i was there on sunday that i liked to eat it so i was very humble and I enjoyed my fish and then we had a healing crusade of like probably like 500 people came and we just danced like crazy with the kids and then we just all ran around and um, prayed for the sick people prayed for each other got to pray for a lady with a back brace on and a walker who had just had back surgery and was supposed to wear this brace all the time and couldn't really move her legs and by the end of it she didn't need the back brace she didn't need the walker she could move her legs she was just walking around uh, some folks prayed for a boy with cerebral palsy and he got more mobility and um, was able to walk around um, unhindered, which was really cool. And then the first lady I prayed for, um, and all of this was with different youth from that local church. They're actually, they're like the Jesus gangsters, they used to be gang members and they all got saved. Um, and the guys sleep on cots up kind of in the open air loft of, of the church and they're the disciples of the pastor. So they were, they were like representing, they were like ready to go, pray for the sick, heal the sick, and we were activating them and just encouraging them. So me and a couple of the girls got to pray for a lady during the service who, again, like one eye was completely blind, it was all white, and then the other eye, she couldn't really, she couldn't see anything out of that one either, um, barely anything. I guess she was going to schedule a surgery soon because it must have been, I'm thinking it was cataracts or something because she had seen a couple years ago but really couldn't see anything. And so we prayed and she started seeing light and she started seeing shapes and, and then by the end of it she could, she could see our faces clearly out of her, out of her one eye. Uh, and she was just so happy because she didn't expect that, that anything was going to happen and she was just rejoicing and you'd see her go sit down with her friends and they'd all look in her eyes and she'd look at them and just, just talk. Just this precious, precious older lady with so many healings that night. It was just ridiculous. And we got out of there probably like midnight or so, drove. Uh, we're now here in Los Baños, um, which is, means the baths. Uh, that, we got in about 2 a.m. last night, very tired, got up today, I went to a prison and ministered to 300 guy inmates, male inmates, in the prison. There was no room for them to meet, so they just all stayed in their cells, probably like 30 to 50 people in like one cell and we just preached in the hallway, did dramas in the hallway, did encounters, led them through salvation, forgiveness, healing, a bunch of those guys got healed too after they prayed for each other. Something opened up for us to go minister to the women at the prison, we went upstairs ministered to the women, we just had like, we thought we just had like 15 minutes, so we were just, you know, going to pray for the sick really quick, you know, had them all pray for each other, and um, we were trying to figure out who was better. And so I just kept asking, okay, like, is it who, you know, who has any pain left? Who else can we pray for? Because there's probably like 20 women or so, and probably like, you know, 10 of them had health issues that they were praying for each other for. But they also, they were fine. Like, they, they didn't have any pain left. I mean, we just prayed one time. And they were all healed. Uh, they're pretty much all believers, but a bunch of them rededicated their lives to the Lord. And then we had like a joy tunnel and we gave them art and we danced together with the violin. It was glorious. And then our team got to go and get massages and relax for a few hours, which was just incredible. And then we did a youth service, which was supposed to be like two hours, 
and it was more like seven, eight, nine, ten. More like four and a half, so to speak. I mean, it was crazy. I've never sensed anything like that before. Just the Spirit of God just coming in the room and just the spirit of prophecy like crazy. We were just prophesying over people. Like, the wonderful youth pastor was praying, playing on the keyboard for like four hours straight. This is background music. Just prophesied and did art for so many people. Just did times of impartation and um, it felt like we could just almost barely even like stand up in there. So that's just been the last uh, like two days and we've got three days left so we'll give you another update soon.